sometimes, you know, we tend to lose perspective of what it is that we do and how we do it because it's that day in drudgery. Everything happens over and over and over again. But I was lucky enough to have a parent come to me one morning and ask if they could speak with me. And of course, I'm open, open door, come on in, sit down. Um, it was actually the father. He came in and sat down with me and said, I really need to talk to you about something that happened yesterday. I said, okay, not a problem. Fill me in, let me know what's going on. And he proceeded to say, well, I took my son to McDonald's last night and promised him if he, if he had a good week, we'd go to McDonald's and he could play on the playground and he'd have a wonderful time. And I said, well, that's, that's great. It's good to hear. And he said, oh, that's not the story I need to tell you. I need to let you know that as we were at McDonald's, a little boy came out in a wheelchair with his mother. And I noticed them, didn't think much of it because of, you know, we're here all the time. So my son didn't look twice. He continued on with eating and enjoying himself. And a few minutes later, he asked me if he could go play. And I said, of course, that's what we're here for. Go play, have fun. And he'd been watching all the other kids that were on the playground, running up and down, sliding on the slide, doing all that fun stuff that you do when you're at the McDonald's playground. And he expected him to jump up and run away and go straight to the slides. Well, he stood up, and he picked up his little matchbox toy that he had gotten out of his Happy Meal that day, and walked over to the little boy in the wheelchair. And he asked the little boy if he wanted to play with him. And the father said that he had been just overwhelmed with the fact that there was all this, you know, wonderful kid excitement going on over on the playground. And instead of doing that, he wanted to play with this other little boy. And he was feeling wonderful about it, you know, his child and the situation. And then the mother came over and she was crying, just huge tears. She could barely get out the fact that she was so thankful. She said, thank you, thank you so much. We come here every Thursday just so he can watch the kids play on this playground. I have never thought he would get a chance to play. This is the most special, wonderful day of his life because this isn't somebody he knows. This isn't somebody that knows him. This is just a little friend who's walking up to him and wants to know who he is for who he is. He didn't look twice at the fact that my son is in a wheelchair or that he can't get up and run and play over there. He just wanted to play with him. She goes, this has meant more to us than I could possibly ever, ever tell you. And... As he's telling me this, he starts to cry. And he says, when we came here, we didn't think about it, but I have given my son, you have given my son something that is beyond words. He's gonna know when he's out in public and when he's an adult that it's what's inside that matters to people. It's not what you look like, who you are on the outside. It's not what you can do or what you can't do. It's what's inside that really matters. And that's what we've gotten from this place. That's what we've gotten from all of you here. And he just wanted to sit down with me that morning and let me know how much that meant to him and his family and what it was going to mean to them in the future. And it's that type of story and that type of thing that you don't, rem you don't really think about all the time. It's, it's those type of things that happen and that we impart onto the children that are growing up that is going to make such a difference for our community and for our world in the future. And that's the biggest thing that I, I benefit from and I get from being here.